Common Mistakes on the pH Miracle Diet The pH Miracle Diet is an exciting new way for people to take control of their health. By lowering your dependence on acid-producing foods and raising your intake of alkali foods you can attain optimum health. The pH scale is from 1 to 14, 1 being very acidic and 14 being very alkaline. The blood in the human bloodstream tends to run slightly alkaline at 7.35. All foods, beverages and everything we put into our bodies will break down into acid or alkali. The body will store and eliminate excess amounts of these things respectively. An excess amount of acid stored in the body will cause the blood to cluster in the bloodstream, causing fatigue and trauma to the body on the cellular level. When there is so much shutdown going on in the body, the immune system will be lowered allowing disease and illness to enter. By keeping the balance of the pH level in the body at 7.35 you can ensure good health. By eating more alkaline foods and avoiding overly acidic foods a proper balance can be maintained. Researching which foods are alkalizing and which ones are acidifying will give you the power to make informed choices. Knowing where you are on the pH scale will determine what changes you need to implement into your daily routine. The monitoring of this balance can be achieved through the regular use of pH saliva test strips. With so much writing on proper technique and form, the level of personal accountability can be rather high for the first-time dieter, especially if they are used to other diets that don't require as much responsibility as the pH diet. This can be a daunting task for many starting on the pH miracle diet. Here are two common mistakes and their solutions. Trying to add too much alkaline into the system is a common pitfall many overly enthusiastic dieters fall into. The purpose of the pH miracle diet is to create a permanent way of living for you stressing the idea of balance. Many dieters want to solve the problem with a quick fix submerging them into an all alkali intake. This is going overboard with supplements and beverages promising to raise their alkaline levels to unhealthy levels. As stated earlier about too much acid in your bloodstream being unhealthy for you, so too can an overabundance of alkali. Many people focus on the claim that cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment, which is true, but nothing in the human body can survive very long in a purely alkali environment. Yes, it is true, two man alkalis can kill you. The key to life is everything in moderation and the pH diet is no exception. Acids and alkalis are meant to work in concert together. Acids serve your body and play a function in the breaking down of digested material. The stomach is an acid holding tank that converts food into energy. Alkaline waits in the intestinal tract for this newly energized material still hot with acidity and neutralizes it as the material is metabolized, absorbed and sent into the bloodstream. By keeping this harmonious partnership in sync you assure that your body's pH levels stay within the optimum range. Many people who start out don't take enough time to look for complete listings of the pH levels of the foods they eat. There are many lists available online and in various books that offer food lists that break the groups down into acids and alkalis. Making sure to choose a comprehensive list will guarantee whole nutrition. A list that includes supplements, herbs, spices, and condiments is the most desirable. You want the most complete list possible including those foods which are neutral. Paying attention to how many foods are being ingested from the acid and alkali sides is a great way to ensure proper balance in the diet.